you will accept that the roads did not deteriorate in the last 18 months. This is, uh, we are a victim of consistent and persistent neglect of infrastructure. And what we can do is as much as possible, lift up things from where they are. I can tell you here without a doubt, all the roads are not going to be fixed. No matter how much protest, anybody protest, there's no money to do it. There's just no money. Our budget has been revised downwards to 280 billion, and we don't have 100% budget performance. So you can imagine that the amount that has been set aside for roads is probably less than 10% of the, the value of the roads in the whole state. Like I said, it's 900 billion, and I think what we have in the budget for the year for roads is just about 40 billion naira, and that is it, and that is where we must come from and work together to make sure that that amount of money that has been set aside must now be used optimally for us as a people. Like I said, it's 900 billion, and I think what we have in the budget for the year for roads is just about 40 billion naira, and that is it, and that is where we must come from and work together to make sure that that amount of money that has been set aside must now be used optimally for us as a people. When His Excellency got here, he had promised us in our local government that the Lagos Uta, Abel Kuta Road and the Aton Agbara Road were his top priorities. And he and his colleague in Lagos State had worked together and come up with a strategy. They had a bank who was ready to finance those roads. But we have hit a stumbling block. We have hit a stumbling block at the federal government level. But I can tell you that this protest and agitation has even caused the Honorable Minister to now revisit this and His Excellency is working with the Honorable Minister and very soon, hopefully, that road will be released to us. The Lagos or Tabekuta Road will be released to us and we can now get uh, cooperation with the banks who had initially promised to work with us and get that road fixed. It will be told, but it's so much cheaper for us to pay a toll on that road than the suffering that we suffer on our persons, our vehicles, and the loss of time and man hours that we are currently getting on those roads.